Cat Chouncer with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I want to show you how to make these lovely mosaic cards using the gilded leafing that's in the new catalog that is now live on 4 January and we have um, crossed over into 2021 so happy new year and let's start doing some neat crafting um, and think about spring coming with some of these neat new products. In the MIDI catalog there is a set that's called the Dandy Garden Set and that set features um, this DSP which is called the Dandy Garden DSP as well as um, a punch and a stamp set that goes with it and um, we're going to use all these products to create our card as well as the gilded leafing, the heat and stick powder, some Versamark and you're definitely going to need an embossing buddy. You're also going to need a sheet of the adhesive sheets and you can either use this sheet which is available in, in the annual catalog or they also sell on Amazon. Uh, you can get these big roll of sheets if, uh, if you'd like. I also have some um, tear tape that is also will come in handy. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start out with my base card and my base card is going to be in um, Bumblebee. I'm picking some of the DSP sheets from my pack of DSP and I'm going to need some Whisper White because we're going to cut we're going to cut some layers out of Whisper White to begin our card. So to begin with I'm going to um, put these aside. Here is my my base card. I'm going to grab my scoreboard and I'm going to score this at four and a quarter and that should there's our card and that's in Bumblebee. I then want to cut um, two pieces of very vanilla and I'm going to cut one is going to be five and a fourth by four so let me do five five and a fourth five and a fourth and that's going to be by four and I'm going to need another piece at five and a fourth by four or I think I'm going to do it at five and three and three fourths five and three and three fourths there we go I'm going to put these aside over here and I have my two layers for my card and there they are now this I'm going to put aside. I'm going to make sure I have my my bone folder here because I just want to go ahead and make sure that gets nice and creased. Okay, so now we're going to pick our um, our colors that we're going to put on this card here. This is this is the card stock that we're going to put our adhesive sheet on, and since this is uh, five and a fourth, five by three and three fourths. I'm just going to take take my um, my Sizzix and we're going to cut this. Um, let's see, this is about five, so we're going to put three and three fourths right there, and it's going to be by five. Okay, and there is our sheet. 
I'm going to put this aside. And now that is going to fit perfectly on our, our card stock that we're going to create our mosaics. I like to use my multi-purpose tool here and I'm just going to pull up Oop, I actually had two layers there. I'm going to pull up this sheet right here. If I can get it with my finger. Uh, I have some thumb, some thumb issues that I'm wearing band-aids so that you don't have to see my little thumb issues. I do my own nails and I have some, um, I develop some uh, fungus. So I am taking care of that and I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you my ugly little thumbs right now. Okay, so here's my sheet and I'm just going to lay that right on top of my, here we go, lay that right on top of my uh, very vanilla. So here is the, um, here's the piece we're going to pull off that's going to give us our sticky to lay down our our uh, strips of DSP. So I'm going to just set that aside because I'm going to bring in my other layer and now I want to grab I want to grab some colors that are going to uh, go well with my bumblebee and I kind of like these green so I'm going to kind of pick this color and um, yeah, maybe this color. And I want, I'm going to use front and back. I might not use that, but I want to use, um, I kind of like this color here, okay? So what I'm going to do, let me put this back over here. My large cutter here. So let me just move these aside. Bring in my large cutter because I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my DSP and I'm going to line it up the direction I want it to, to cut. Okay, I'm kind of lining it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and I've got it all together, but I'm going to cut one inch strips. One inch. Oops, and there is one inch. And we'll cut one more. Okay, so now I've done it about three times. These are six by six, so I have three inches of cardstock left over. And that is plenty for another card. And then I'm going to, um, here's my base card. Here's my layer card. This is four and a fourth by four. And then here's the card I just put the, um, the sticky and that is five by three and three fourths. I'm putting that aside for now because I am going to use this as my template for laying out my, uh, my pieces. So here are pieces. I'm gonna take these and then I'm, I'm going to, let's see. I can do, and I'm just going to lay them out. Um, I might want to, um, I might want to kind of stagger and I've got space between each one. And let's say we want, maybe we want this one here like that.
Okay, so you can kind of see, here's my pattern. There's my pattern like that. Okay, I'm just going to slide that aside like that. All right, then I'm going to bring in this piece, and this is the piece that has the, um, the sticky on it. So I am going to um, pull this off and then we'll go ahead and just, there it is. Now look how nice that comes off, comes out beautifully. All right, so I'm just going to set that right there. I'm going to start laying, I'm going to start laying these pieces like that. And I'm going to lay And I have two little pieces there. Now, you know, this is where I could use, you know, another piece of cardstock, or I could just go ahead and cut a piece. Just go ahead and cut a piece and put it right there. And I could just cut a piece and put it right there. Okay, and now I'm just simply going to use my bone folder and I want to make sure that my, my cardstock is on my adhesive sheet. I just kind of want to roll over like that. Then I'm going to bring in, if you turn it around, you kind of see you have your pieces like that because then I'm going to bring in my cutting board and I'm just going to line these up just so that it, the corner of my cardstock is right along my edge. And I'm just going to go ahead trim them off. Okay. So there it is. Now, if I have any other pieces, like right here, I can just grab my scissors and I can just very easily trim, trim those edges. And there it is, that's nicely done. I have a little piece right there. Just gonna go ahead and trim that. So there we go. I can kind of gather these up. And I like to kind of keep all my pieces that I use in a little envelope here because I can come back and I can use these pieces again. Okay, this is the sheet. We want that sheet right there. And then I'm going to take my punch and I think I want I think I rather like this dragonfly here, or maybe this orange one. Maybe I like this orange one. So what I do is um, I'm just simply going to cut this out like this out of my paper. Then I'm just going to grab a piece of sticky. I'm going to stick that on right there and tear it off. And I'm going to put this in my punch, right like that. I'm going to punch my, my dragonfly. I don't know if you can hear Rocky snoring. Okay. So there is my, there's my dragonfly right there. 
I'm going to take my heat and stick powder. I'm going to take my Versamark. I'm going to open up my Versamark. And I'm just going to grab a, a brush, Versamark here, put it on my pad. Now I will also point out is that they have a Versamark marker that, um, that you can get. But I'm just going to show you how to do it with a, with a brush. So I'm just going to grab the, the brush and as you can see there's some there's a little bit of, of color, uh, dark and light. I want to put my gold right here along the light. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to grab a my coffee Filter. I'm going to open up my heat and stick powder and I'm just going to sprinkle it. Now what I like to do though is I like to get my embossing buddy and kind of do my own fingers because I'm going to be using this gilding and it will stick all over and the heat and stick powder kind of helps a little bit. I'm trying to lift this up and hold it by the tail and I'm going to bring in my heat gun and I just want to do it until it gets clear. Okay, so it is clear. You can see how it's see how it's gotten kind of wet. It looks it's gotten kind of that's that's how you you want to. Um, you don't want to over bake it with your um, with your heat gun. So what I want to do is I want to bring in. I have this canister here that I'm going to use. Let me pull out so you can see what I'm going to do. I have a canister that I'm going to open, and inside this canister are a bunch of flakes. And again, this is where using the embossing buddy and I even kind of put some on my nails because this stuff will get all over so you kind of want to kind of get your fingers kind of nice and nice and um, powdery. I'm going to use some of the flakes that I have in here. I'm just going to bring them over this here, I'm going to grab one of these, I'm going to grab a brush and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of burnish that a little bit. And there we go, we've got our, our, our um, butter, uh, dragonfly. So now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it in here. You see how it just, the stuff just flies all over the place? But I'm going to open up, so I'm going to show you how to do it this way. We're going to open up this jar very carefully. And again, I'm going to use some of my embossing buddy. And I'm just going to lay some flakes down like that. Okay. Just laying some flakes down across.
and there we go. There we go. We got it done. Look at that. We have our two pieces here. And this is going to lie nicely. Look at that. It's going to be very pretty right there. And then we're going to get, um, you know, just a sentiment here. And I have already picked out. And we're just going to do that like that. There it is. So let's go ahead and... Um, I'm going to use some double-sided tape here. And There we go. Not pretty. And then we're just going to go ahead, and I like this to kind of go, there we go. We're going to kind of put it right there so that this shows against the green. So let me just get a couple of dots here. Just put that. There we go. It's a little askew. Isn't that pretty? It's just gorgeous. I just love, I just love that card. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can create these lovely, lovely um, these lovely mosaic cards. Um, using the using our gilded leafing and some Sizzix permanent permanent adhesive sheets so i really hope you enjoy this you enjoyed this please come back and press like so this is cat chancellor with stamp art connection and stampartconnection.com happy stamping and happy new year